So if you had a chance to redo your life, would you take that chance? If the answer is yes, that is the plot to the anime Relight. And in this anime, it follows a 27 year old man named Arata, and he's basically been struggling to find a real job after graduating college and all these other types of things. Cause when he graduated college, he got into this one company and just know that he was having an okay time and he had like a senpai he really looked up to, had this woman he was working under. But the work environment was kind of toxic at times, especially what happens to like the person he's working under. And that kind of traumatizes him and he ends up quitting the job three months in. And after that, after he quit that job, he kind of struggled to find any type of real employment because like they're all looking at him, down at him because he left a job after only working there for three months. So now he just struggles living from like days me and he works at a convenience store and stuff like that. And he even tries to find some other employment, but they never want to hire him. So yeah, like I said, he's down in the dumps right now. He really is just struggling. Until he, one day he's approached at night by this guy asking him, would you like to redo your life and all this other stuff, saying he works at this company and telling him stuff like that, that here, hire him and do all this. Eventually they're going to get to talking and he comes over to Arata's place and he's going to show him this pill and he's going to tell them, if you take this pill, it will basically turn you into a 17 year old basically um, boy again and you have to relive your life in high school and stuff like that. And if you take this chance, just know we will hire you, but you have to go to this high school for a year and actually re relive your, basically redo your life for like a whole year. And that's basically the premise of this. And it's like, he takes this pill, but just know when he takes the pill, he's still a 27 year old man on, in the inside, but on his outside appearance, he looks like he's 17. And he's gonna go to this school and he basically has to get accustomed to like all high school life and stuff like that. Just know there's a lot of funny things. Just know throughout the whole anime, this man is struggling in high school like so much that final year. This man is always having to retake tests and stuff like that. It's kind of hilarious because it's like, damn dog, you're always doing this. But yeah, it's a really good story. The anime is 17 episodes. It has a sub and dub, so you could watch it either way and just know it's really good. And for the people that like Blu-rays, just know they got Blu-rays too. Just know this is the regular stuff. And then this is what the four episode OVA that finishes the story. But yeah, Relife is so damn good. And there's also, there is a female MC and her name is Chizuru. And just know the main guy, he's gonna like, they're gonna eventually develop a relationship because he's always helping her out. And like there's even more to her and i'll explain that in a little bit but he's always helping her out because like she's somebody that's always by herself she's always quiet she doesn't really have friends stuff like that and like as those two get close and closer he's going to help her open up and like start to get friends and like feel a certain type of way with other people and start to actually express herself because trust me she was not expressing herself and just know there's a few moments that's going to get you in your feels especially in especially in this one this part right here the four episode ova oh there's so much that gets you in your feels in that one because like there's some there's a few things that happen towards it and i'll talk about that but when it comes to like the whole school environment it's just funny watching like our to like have to mix in with like all these young kids there's one moment when they're doing like all their sports stuff and trying to like register stuff and like he's thinking like oh yeah i can do all this but then he goes to throw something and he hurts his back because just showing that it's like yeah just because you have this young out outside appearance like nah you're still old so like you know even though some, you know, I'm thinking like 27, you're still not that old. They're trying to make 27 way older than it is when I'm like, dog, you're still young enough to do some of this stuff. But especially someone like him that probably hasn't exercised and stuff like that. That's why the reason why when he like threw it and he hurt himself because he knows you got to stretch and stuff like that, whatever. But yeah, it's a really good story. And I like just seeing like the way he has to think because it's like he are, he is thinking like, yo, I'm still 27 on the inside. And it's like, yeah, I'm 17 on the outside, but I'm still surrounded by all these kids and all this other type of things. But it's always nice just seeing the way he fits with all the different characters and when he struggles with stuff. And even the two people that work at Real Life, because you have Anne and like Roy or whatever his name, I forgot exactly what his name is, like Roy or something like that. You have those two and like the way they like observe them and either help them out. Because like Anne was like one of his like really close friends at first until like he finds out she's a Real Life employee. But I mean, they're still hella cool and all that. But I really like the relationship between him and Chizuru and how they also do help out some of the other like people in their friend group. Because there are like other one, other ones of them that like been liking each other for a while and they kind of help them get together like after facing some stuff and all like that. But and just know Chizuru is hilarious because she makes like she doesn't know how to really smile that well. So like every time she, it looks like she's trying to give a smile, she's always grinning at somebody. And there's another girl that thinks she's like doesn't like her other type of thing because like Chizuru's always grinning at her. But it's really because Chizuru does not know how to a smile at all but when it comes to Chizuru what we find out is is basically she's the other real life person that's done real life before and like the first year she did it 
she really didn't do nothing to school besides she just went to school and didn't really enjoy the enjoy high school like the way they want her to in real life so she had to redo it again so just no she's a 29 year old woman inside a basically 18 year old body because by the time she redoes it she's 18 technically she like aged a year so that's why but yeah i really love the way she opens up and we learn stuff about her because like i said we find out that first year she really was just quiet and just like doing stuff like doing being on top of her grades wasn't really talking to people like that wasn't doing nothing but like i said because of arata he's the reason why she starts to open up and express herself and she starts to enjoy life the way she was supposed to and just know those two date they start dating and like both of them are thinking because like they both know their real life employees and they're both realizing that it's like yo because they know that they're both 20 like they're older than like the kids but they don't know each other that they're both real life employees or whatever real life like i guess your participants or whatever so they don't know that so like they they're having thoughts of like yo should i date this person but it's like they're a kid so like they're thinking that and stuff like that but then we also learned that Basically, at the end of this year, the end of the real life like year that they're doing, everybody's going to basically forget about them in the school and make it seem like they were never there. But that person will have that memory. And the sad thing is, is these two are both real life employees and like they start dating and like they really have a connection. I mean, they have a real connection because like I said, throughout the whole show, they've been growing closer and closer and helping each other grow because they both been needing to grow and stuff like that. And it gets so sad towards the end because they both realize they're never going to be remembered by this person. And especially because they both are real life, they're both been in, in real life too. It makes it even sadder because it's like, dog, how are they going to remember? And just know when it comes to the end, because like when it comes to that last day when they're about to take that pill, Chizuru writes on her arm. She writes that she writes on her hand that I'm in love with such and such with Adita and. The one and girl is crying and, break, and like tears are coming out because like she wished she didn't see that. And they just know it's so sad because I was like, no, I was like, no, I was like, why? I was like, why couldn't you just have them get together or whatever? But then just know towards the end, they are going to they are going to remember each other. And like that was one of the best moments ever because I was like, ah, I was so happy because like they kind of remembered each other towards the end. And that was amazing. I'm pretty sure the manga has a little bit more to it or whatever, but it's like a little bit sprinkled, like a few chapters they didn't like anime or whatever, but yeah, real life is so damn good. I love this story. Like I said, an anime that's really you can compare this with is like Remake Our Life. I know a lot of people compare these two together, but they're kind of a little bit different in my opinion because one, a person goes back in the time where this one is just, you take a pill. And another thing when it comes to real life, I'm like, bro, this whole organization, can't y'all be doing some other stuff? Like if y'all can make a pill that can turn somebody into a 17 year old, can like, can y'all work on something else that might help the world out way better? Just saying, like, it was like I feel like y'all they could have so much technology there. I want to know what technology they actually got there, though. But yeah, Real Life's a phenomenal anime. If you've seen it, let me know how you feel about it. If you've not seen it, you should really check it out. It's an amazing anime. Like I said, 17 episodes, has a sub and a dub, and trust me, you'll really enjoy it. If you want to see a slice of life and just see, and it deals like with adult stuff, too, because yeah, they're in high school, but they're still adults, too, and you see them struggling in life and how they got the, and how they're able to basically redo their life and stuff like that but oh, i love this anime if you're new why not subscribe enjoy the video why not like if you didn't you can dislike subscribe you really enjoyed but yeah please watch real life it's phenomenal like i said you'll watch this and you'll be trust me you'll enjoy it so much because it's a really good anime like when i first watched this once i bought these blu-rays i fell in love with the story because it's so good and like it, once it basically keeps you wanting more because there's so much more they could do with this story especially the way it ends too because it kind of sets up something that could happen in the future if it ever did but i know like the story just basically just ends like that but yeah uh, i love this story if you've seen it like i said please let me know how you feel if you've not seen it please watch it because you enjoy it so much though but thank you for watching i'll see you next video though bye mm -hmm.